What? <laughs> Come here. Mm. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. And I'm her associate. <laughs> Today I am here with my fiance. AKA Nick. You can call me preacher. You can call me overexposed white guy in the video. I just wanted to talk to you today about some things that we have learned so far leading up to marriage, how we're feeling, I'm feeling anxious, and all, talk of, about that. all of those good things. So we're two months away, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Cue the intro. What? Come here. So I figured we would go through some things that we have tackled the past couple months to get ready for the wedding, but also what we've learned in like premarital counseling and things that we have kind of come to realize about each other, like our differences and our similarities and what makes us flow well. There's things that like I didn't know, but there's no, no topic that I was taken back by learning, if that makes any yeah. sense at all. So we have one mm. week left of uh, premarital counseling or men marriage mentoring, but by the time Should you I... see this video, we're talking about sex. That's right, sex. Hmm? It's just me and the people. Hey. So we have one week left of marriage mentoring and by the time you see this video, we would have already completed it because this is going up on Wednesday. And what we've learned over the course of like just hanging out with this couple has been a lot about communication. Do you think you've seen a change like within like how yeah, we communicate? I think the way that we talk about issues is different. To Chelsea's point, just because you're different doesn't mean that you have to go against each other or that you can't work out. But it does mean that you have to learn how the other person works and the way that they express joy in the way that they express frustration yeah. and how they want to be talked to when they're feeling a certain way. I think a lot of us are used to the whole, what's wrong? Nothing. No, like what's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> No, seriously, you can tell me what's wrong. Nothing! And what I think, <laughs> I shouldn't ask Chelsea what's wrong. Because that's assuming that something's wrong. When maybe she's just deep in thought. So, a better question for me to ask is, hey, what's on your mind right now? Mm -hmm. And then Chelsea will tell that's me. That's exactly what you learned. And then you Chelsea, were just saying this verbatim. <laughs> And then Chelsea will tell me what's on her mind. Oh, how have you guys been liking the podcast? Oh yeah. Leave us a comment below. That's another thing that we've been doing uh, throughout engagement is we've had a really great time having conversations with each other, but also other people. And we have really awesome people coming up to join us on the podcast. If you're unfamiliar, we do have a podcast. It's called the Encounter Now podcast with Nick and Chelsea. Indeed. Just enjoying the new like, media scope or this new atmosphere of media scope i don't know what media scope is <laughs> what's a media scope <laughs> can i buy those on amazon it's just fun to do something new and it almost feels like robotic because you're sitting in front of this like microphone and then yeah. you've got like this headset on and you're like hello welcome to so hello we're, welcome to the encounter now podcast we're not pros me. we're not pros at it by any means i honestly feel kind of cringy sometimes when i like listen to myself in the podcast but that's anyone. But, yeah, we'll get used to it. I still feel cringy about myself whenever I watch myself on YouTube sometimes. So while you guys are watching this video, we're actually gonna be on a trip to Haiti, which is crazy. I, I never thought I would be in like Haiti or meeting my sponsored kid from Compassion International, but we're super excited and we have some videos coming up that we're gonna share with you guys all about our experience, what it's like down there and just what compassion does because we would love to have more of you guys on board of having this unique relationship with whoever it is across the world and i just think it's an opportunity that everybody needs to have um and so tell us if you've been tell yeah. us if you've gone to haiti or or been to a compassion site because they're all over different countries yeah a lot of places you'll see compassion one you'll see some headquarters all over the place i know the hq for it because we looked it up, mm -hmm. is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah. And then there's some more all throughout the world, but um, the times you'll see them is like at conferences and events. Yeah. And uh, if you've ever been to Winter Jam, you'll see, I think, them. 
and Holt International, both of them. They both do the same thing. Right, so what we're gonna be doing over there is just filming a lot of stuff and trying to get more kids sponsored. And I think there's been like six people so far that have signed up to sponsor a kid through my link, which has been incredible because anybody who, who does that also gets a free book. I think it's just amazing that I can track uh, who exactly is being sponsored and what's happening through just the content that I've been making and uh, just being able to watch that from afar is really cool because I love to see like numbers and things happening. And so I'm Results. really thankful for Compassion and the opportunity to partner together. So if you guys are interested, this is just a little mini shout out in this video. Plug. There is a link down in the description. So be in prayer for us while we're on this trip and we'll get back on Saturday a couple days after this video is up. I want to give them some resources. Oh. They're in the same season. Give them let some me, resources. Let me get you guys some stuff. Don't judge my pants. You can judge your pants. So these are a few books that we actually, I read. I don't know if Nick read all of the same ones that I did, <laughs> but you did have to read this one because we went through this in premarital counseling and we loved this. Although there are some situations in here that are just kind of like, ugh, why did they do like a role play scenario? Um, scenario? <laughs> scenario, sorry. This book nonetheless really did help us with like communication. What's it called? Here's the book. Expectations. It's called Preparing for Marriage. I'll put all these books in the description so they can check them out. But this is by David Bol... Bohe. Bohe. I, I can't pronounce Brent it. Brent Nelson, Jeff Schultz, and Lloyd Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> this is a great book. And then also one that I've like continuously read through, it's taken me a long time, is oh, The Meaning so of Marriage. And there's just so many like very like deep conversations in here, things that he's learned over his many years of being married to his wife. Tim, my guy, I've read this next book three times, so. You did? Yes. I read this on a plane ride, so it's a very easy read. This is called 12 Questions to Ask Before You Marry, and it is by our good friends Clayton and Shara King. So we love them. Clayton is actually officiating our wedding. So we're really excited about that because they've just been really big influences in our lives. And then last but not Huge least, influences. this is a great couple as well that just came out with this new book. I have yet to read it, but since I love their content so much, I know it's gonna be a great book, so. Dave and Ashley are awesome. It is called The Naked Marriage. The contents of this book, like the way that the chapters are laid Ooh, out, wait. it's like very, Simple. Uh, I think chapter four is probably gonna be my favorite. Chapter four? Yeah. So the chapters are- No, 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 no. Let, them, let them get it and figure it out. Chapter four is my favorite, personally. Okay, you, didn't, you haven't even read it. I haven't read it, but chapter from four- From the topic. Is my favorite. And then also like in each of these books, there's a lot of scripture that backs up what they say. And that's where the like biblical root is. And that's what we want to ground our marriage in, so. We really like these people and I'll link all of these down below. How are you feeling? Cause you said at the beginning of this video that you're feeling anxious about getting married. We're two months away and um, I'm just nervous. Like um, I just don't know what all to expect and I'm more nervous about the you're, day yeah, you're than I am. Nervous about like parts of the wedding. Yeah, I'm more nervous about the day than I am like the actual marriage, so. Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously we're gonna grow a lot and learn in marriage, but I think we're more concerned about like how many people are gonna show up? Who's gonna watch us dance? Uh, just like the little how things do that I dance? honestly don't really matter that much because it goes by so fast, but it's gonna work out. I'm gonna go get some food now. I'm hungry as all get out. But yes, we're very appreciative. Uh, we would really, really be pumped if y'all left a review on our podcast and mm. let us know what you guys wanna see. That will uh, be the first link. It, in the description. <laughs> just because it allows us to get up in the rankings so that other people can see the podcast. And it's not that we care necessarily about the popularity of our podcast, but about the message that we're trying to get out to other people and so that you guys can have conversations like these with the people that you love. You gotta do something really fast. Later. Deuces!